YouTube, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Hey. We haven't done a subscriber milestone video for a while, so consider this that. I just want to thank all of you so very much who have supported me this whole way to get me to this milestone. However, we can always get another zero at the end of that subscriber number, right? It's all about the YouTube growth. Now, you may not know this about me necessarily, but I do like to spend a lot of time just researching YouTube stuff, trying to figure out how to trigger that magical algorithm. But I have a beef with the algorithm, and we're going to discuss the methods in order to get these delicious, nectar-filled YouTube eyeballs today. The first method that I want to discuss right now is one that drives me just completely mental. It's about the YouTube thumbnail, the almighty YouTube thumbnail. You need to have gorgeous 4K thumbnails and then everyone will just click on through, but that's such an obtuse piece of advice. Is this a good thumbnail? Is this a good thumbnail? Is this one a good thumbnail? You can only really go by the views and maybe some click-through rate to decide if it's a good thumbnail, but even if it's a good click-through rate, it might not necessarily be a good thumbnail. It might just be the subject matter. You just kind of like tickle someone's fancy in such a way. So for context, to get to my point, I do a scratch ticket series, and recently I decided, well, how about I really start coming through with the thumbnails? How about I get... Because before I would just more or less take a picture, of the scratch ticket and, and upload and a lot of the time they'd be kind of dull kind of dark looking but i figure how about i just i really pull through with this get some really nice bright thumbnails but it, it really hasn't improved anything i haven't really noticed the needle moving at all but this is what gets under my skin allow me to show you my most watched scratch ticket video which is my third most watched video look at this thumbnail here's the aforementioned thumbnail now, I mean, it, it's shiny, it's green, it's the color of money, I, I get all that, but what I don't get is there's... If you look closely, let, let me just uh, highlight this for you. There's a friggin' coffee stain on the ticket. I just had the ticket, just happened to spill some coffee on it, and there it is, just all in its glory. Third most viewed video on my channel. Got coffee stain on the ticket so why even bother making them all beautiful and stuff and all i have to do is stain the ticket hey welcome to another edition of scratch ticket sunday There, 10,000 views, easy. Next up, I wanna to touch on the click-through rate. So I already have this up on my desktop in the YouTube Studio beta, and it's right here on this right-hand side here. I hear that having around a 10% click-through rate is pretty well decent. And here I am with a 15.7 click-through rate. That's about a one, one in six people that see this video click through to watch it. That that sounds pretty decent. Like if I if this was shown to a million people, that's what? What's that math? That's like 160,000 views. Come on, YouTube, take a chance on me. I know it's Suikoden card stories and approximately 108 people still care about Suikoden, but you might be surprised. And it was done without a boobless thumbnail too. Just some dude in a beret playing Suikoden card stories. Like, let me know in the comments if you have a, vid a boobless video that manages to get more than 15% viewership. You're, you're gonna be a unicorn, I'm sure of it. Because you, you either need the boobs or you need, apparently, Suikoden card stories. But not quite, en not quite enough to trigger that algorithm to get, get those eyeballs flying on my video. And we can't forget about the YouTube panhandling of, of likes and subscribes. You, got, you always got to be asking for those likes, because if, if you don't ask for the likes, every, everyone on YouTube is tired of people asking for likes. So when you're the one that doesn't ask for likes, people just don't do it, because they're like, oh, thank God, this guy's not asking for likes, I'm just not going to do it. But you got to panhandle for the likes, because otherwise YouTube doesn't think that you can... You don't have any persuasion power, so advertisers don't care about you, see? So you got to do the panhandling for, for the YouTube likes, so I'll tell you what. If we can get this video to 100,002 likes, I'm going to do a charity live stream car wash with my beard. And here's a little taste for you. Yeah, I like, I like doing that. Oh yeah, get that lather up on that car. Oh yeah.
That's the stuff. You just gotta like the video. You can get way more than this. Oh, yeah. Get that. Get those suds going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's the tick. 100,000 and two likes we will need. And I, I will do this. I'll do a charity live stream, a charity of your guys' choosing, and I, I will charity wash my car with my beard. But, but this is just the sampler. I, I don't want to give you too much too early, just just enough to know that I'm serious, that you, that you know I'm not messing around. So you, you better like that video. Better, you better. Next up, I just want to shift gears here to audience retention, which is supposed to be another one of those special metrics that just trigger the algorithm. And I've, I've heard that having an over 50% audience retention is one of those triggers, so... I noticed that my scratch ticket videos, I would get, I would get kind of rambly at the end of them. So I decided, hey, I'll, I'll just stop doing that. And that it did happen to push my audience retention up above the 50%. Here we are, 63.1, but it's it's been live since, well... The start of this month, 108 views. 108 views, we got 63.1 audience retention. That, uh, that that doesn't add up to me. I can, do I need over 100% audience retention? I don't say, I don't mean that sarcastically. That's a thing that can happen if people like rewatch the video or go back. Maybe I should have like quick flashing. Do that thing where YouTubers will like quickly flash an entire like diatribe onto the screen. So like, oh, I have to go back and read that even though it's mostly just some of it's kind of funny Easter egg stuff. It's mostly fluff. Just just a game in order to get that audience retention up there. And you don't hate the player, hate the game, they say. But moving on, there's one thing I know is good for YouTube views. And that's controversy. Controversy is a cash cow. And if we can remember, back during the whole PewDiePie N-bomb scandal, that he got all sorts of press everywhere. And it was, it was this big deal, but here I am, dropping N-bombs, and not even a peep from anybody. M multiple N-bombs. Oh, what, you don't believe me? Well, seeing as it's my channel, I have the footage, so allow me to show you all the N-bombs I dropped, and not a peep from anybody, no, no exposure whatsoever. So let's go to the tapes. Just never really questioned it. Uh, C.I. No, wait, we gotta drop the N-bomb, I forget. Or I'll just say that until I hit the thing he's actually weak to. Are we gonna drop some N-bombs? Like we can, but... As if there's a weapon in this game called the N-bomb! Well, that's it. I've tried everything to achieve YouTube superstardom. Unless... I could try to get a world record. That, that always drives views, right? I mean... The best idea would... Like, I'm a gamer, right? The best idea would be to uh, get a world record in Fortnite, but, but I don't like Fortnite, so I'm kind of... barking up the wrong tree there. Uh, what else do I- Oh yeah, there's that new Mega Man game that came out. I, I play a lot of Mega Man, as I'm sure you just noticed. I'll bet you that I can get a world record in Mega Man 11, the new one that just came out. Then the world will be my oyster, I'll get all of the views. But I just have to get that world record. Yeah, take that, you stupid lemons. First floor, yeah, we got the first floor. We only have, what, another... I don't even know, I didn't check, but I'm sure... I'm sure we'll get it. Yeah, jump those platforms. YouTube superstardom, on the way! Yeah! Take that, you yellow belly buffoon! I played Mega Man 1 and 3 before, your pattern is predictable! <coughs> Wee! Wee! This is so much fun. This jumping. What do we? What do we got next? We gotta fight a ball. This is balls on balls. Ball to the wall. Yeah, ball buster. Urgh. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little further. We got. We gotta be close. We gotta be close. All right, Wiley, you Albert Einstein wannabe. I'm gonna crack your skulls. What's with you in skulls anyway, Wily? 
Yeah, take that Wiley! Yeah! The Tasis World Record! Ah, damn it! This time the ball busted me! Well, this time we we gotta have gotten close. We got to what? What the score? 169 is the score? Well, let's take a look at. Let's see how close we got. Come on, what's that score? What do we what do we got? We did it! 141 was the old score. It's it didn't update yet. The score is 169, but it says 139, but I actually got 169 this time. We did it! Speedy, we did it! We'll be YouTube superstars! We're world record holders! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, we did it! Just big it! Yeah! Gotta upload this to YouTube immediately! Forty-eight views. We just got a world record for Mega Man Eleven, the PS4, and it's worth forty-eight views. Forty-eight YouTube views. But my let's play of Rise of the Robots, which arguably was harder to play than getting a world record in Mega Man has almost 4,800 views. I can play that crap for 4,800 views, or I can get world record Mega Man 11 for 48 views. Like, I mean, if you look at the thumbnail, it, do it doesn't really look that bad, but let if you break this open for a second. Like, sure, it was one of my first videos. Like, look at this janky crap. This got 4,800 views. A world record didn't get 50 views. This gets 4,800 views. Granted, I'm sure they clicked off like four seconds later, but still count as a view. It must have been ten seconds at least. Well, that just settles it. Why? Why? Why try? Why just? Maybe I, I just have to go out of my way to be worse. I guess if you can't beat them, join them. Although I think Mega Man 11 still might be my path to salvation. Uh, time to make a 10 hour video, folks. Are you sure? Ta da! Already! Are you sure? Ta da! Already! Are you sure? Ta da! Already! Are you sure? 